Hey guys, welcome back. Nucleus is excited to have collaborated with the esteemed Specialty Coffee Association of Panama. This partnership has brought us great pride and being part of the best of Panama's 2024 auction is a privilege. To ensure the utmost authenticity and quality in our link profile recommendations for this auction box. The Nucleus team meticulously spent a week in Panama with the producers, national jury, guest cuppers, and international judges. We collected data on the top 24 coffees in each category, refining the roasts to perfection. The profile packs will include the final versions of the top 18 coffees completed for Geisha, washed in Geisha Natural, and the top 14 coffees in the varieties category. The file, shared as a user-friendly zip file, can be quickly loaded into your Link Studio software, transforming your Link into your master roaster. It will match the same profiles used by the talented roaster team, responsible for ensuring the correct expression for all the coffees presented in Best of Panama. To start, open your Link Studio and connect your roaster using the tether cable. Then, download the zip file from the WeTransfer link shared by Nucleus and the Specialty Coffee Association of Panama. Please note that the file must be kept in its original zip form to load into the studio. If you choose to uncompress it during downloading, you cannot recompress the file to load it. Once downloaded and saved to your computer, click the black bone bone icon, and then the Profiles tab. You will need a Wi-Fi connection to transfer the file to the roaster. Go to the top right of the studio and click on the zip icon. Please select where you saved the zip file and then choose the file to load it to the roaster. Once loaded, the BOP files will become your temporary link profile system. You can revert back to your standard ADIS profiles at any time by simply clicking on the reinstall button. With BOP installed, let's take a closer look at loading and using these profiles. Please take note of the following instructions. Alongside the zip file with the profiles, we also have attached a PDF file with the profiles and information for each coffee. This will guide you through each coffee's name, identifying code, profile number, and manual fan adjustments needed when roasting that lot. You do not need to use the Link app to find a volume by weight density, all information that is typically required for a Link profile suggestion has been gathered and factored in when creating these profiles. Let's start by looking at how to select a profile. When selecting the profiles, you must first decide whether you plan to roast all the green as a 100 gram roast, or if you would like to split it into 50 gram roasts. Both selections have profiles for each coffee in this year's BOP box. Next, we need to choose which category we want to start roasting on. Once selected, you can then scroll through the profiles in order of their finish in the competition from first place onwards. Let's go through the information that is displayed. Alongside the position this coffee finished in the competition, the code you will see is the reference to the BOP assigned code unique to that lot. We have included the PDF attachment to remind you which coffee it was if you need clarification. Alternatively, if in the studio, you can also load the profile, then select the pencil icon and click on about this file. Here, you will see all the information for the coffee and the average cup score for the final round if it's in the top 10 or the semi-final round for coffees 11 to 18. Let's go ahead and load a profile. Today, we will select a 100 gram sample. I want to start with varietals, so I will select this folder. Then let's load the profile of number one, finishing coffee from Black Moon into the roaster. When loaded and by pushing play, it first asks if we want to adjust the DTR percentage. You should push to skip to the next adjustment as all DTR settings have already been precisely amended for each coffee. Moving on. The next setting is for the fan adjust. It's essential to follow the exact fan setting in the attached file for the varieties. For the natural and washed geishas, please increase the fan for all lots by 0.025.
For this lot, we must increase the fan by 0.005 to have the correct fan movement needed to roast this sample perfectly on the profile provided. Push play again to move to the last step of selecting batch size. Once you have selected either 50 or 100 grams, push play to start the roast and you're good to go. When it comes to cupping protocols during the competition, all natural coffees were roasted two days before cupping and all washed coffees were roasted one day before cupping. On behalf of the Specialty Coffee Association of Panama, Nucleus Coffee Tools, and all the coffee producers featured in this auction, we hope you enjoy tasting these incredible coffees. Happy cupping.